This would be the perfect spot to get a glimpse of the rarest bird of the continent, the Hothrosted Red Spangler. Oh, Mr. Persnickety, I'm so happy you allowed me to join this little expedition. I love bird watching and the outdoors. I also like chocolate cake. If trees are made on chocolate cake, I can't imagine how happy I'd be then. I love pillows too and pencil and oh, Miss Chatterbox, please. I must prepare my observation equipment. The hot thrusted red spangler appears only once every hundred years. It is very sensitive to noise, so we must be quiet. Absolutely, I said, say no more. I hear and I obey. You say jump, I say how high. We must be quiet now. Yes, quiet now. No time like the present. Don't put off to yesterday what you do tomorrow. Or is it tomorrow what you do? Oh, Miss Jetterbox! You mustn't talk or you'll frighten the bird. Oh, I mustn't do that. Be kind to of animals. That's what I say. And I mean all animals, even rats. Do you like rats, Mr. Persnickety? I saw it was as big as a bulldozer. A Miss Jetterbox for the last time. Please be quiet. If you want to speak, don't. Let nothing come out of your mouth that so much as resembles a word. You want me to be quiet. Exactly. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Mr. Persnicky is right. Shh! But it's a red double shh! But, <laughs> ah! My anticipation knows no bounds! Oh, Mr. Persnickety, you missed it! Missed what? The horrid thrusted red spangler! Where? It was on your head, I tried to tell you, but you said shh! And then you said double shh! No! <laughs> <laughs> What's this? Oh, it laid an egg on your head, did I mention that? Boy, I bet that was a rare egg. Not like your basic scrambled eggs. No! <laughs> <laughs>